welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to have all of you again like every Wednesday. Today I'm going to show you the second part of this amazing vest. Remember last week I showed you how you can make the mesh and now I will teach you how we are going to finish to fill all of these um, diamonds, okay? The diamonds that we form while we will make in the mesh, okay? We are going to need the same materials that I gave you in the other video but here I will leave you again the materials in case you want to know them again okay well if you are watching this video and if you haven't watched the first part well I suggest that you first watch that part I will leave the link in the comments in the description box down in this video okay in case you don't find it well let's do this more time I will give you the material list remember that are the same materials but you are not going to need any more okay and then I will give you the step by step and then with this second part we will finish this beautiful project okay hope you like it and well let's continue well the material list will be the same for the last video in case you want to see them again well Remember that we are going to need 100 grams of angorita in plain color and 100 grams of a uh, nouns color and a crochet hook of number 4 millimeters. Okay, remember that you have to use different colors. And well, this will be for a small or medium size vest. Uh, okay, well, let's continue. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Hello, I have a big announcement to make. I want to share with all of you that now you can download and you can buy all my magazines in this new app of My Ideas. Just, you have to download the app of My Ideas and there you can find all the different numbers and all the different volumes that I have made with this amazing editorial. You will see that these amazing magazines are so easy to follow. Remember that these magazines are written by me and I share all the diagrams so you can follow and clearly make these amazing projects with me. So please don't miss it and download all the magazines. Well remember that in the last video I gave you homework that you have to fill all these diamonds. Well from here I'm going to skip all the stitches and I'm going to continue here with the other row of squares until we have something like this until we create diamonds remember that the secret of this stitch is that we always have the thread under well to continue with the next row I'm going to slip until the next corner like this until here and from here we are going to start taking the thread from the back we are going to take it under and we are going to continue okay with the next square with the next mesh making one two three four and here insert your hook and we are going to continue like we were making before and remember that we have to create a zigzag remember also to make the chains a little bit loose we want to continue keeping the shape of the squares and of course of the best so we are going to continue in zigzag well, I follow all the series and all the instructions and I have something like this. I get ahead and I love when we are changing colors, when the nouns materials start to flow and all the colors start pumping out. And, and this is how it looks. In some parts I have to cut the thread to continue with this series. For example, in this case I cut the thread and then continue with the zigzag. 
Well, I want to make sure that everything is clear and that you understand. Okay, I will repeat the instructions and I will show you again how you are going to continue making this cereal. Remember that we are going to make the chains loose. We are going to make one, two, three, and four. We are going to insert our hook here and then we are going to continue with this zigzag. And again, one, two, and remember that the secret of this stitch is that you take the thread from the bottom, I mean from the wrong side. And then we are going to insert our hook in the last corner of our diamond to close the joint. And like this is how we are going to continue. We are going to repeat this series and we are going to repeat all the squares and all the mesh with this technique until we finish to make our best okay so it will look something like this we are going to continue with the zigzag with the diamond and this is how we are going to continue until we finish the mesh and here where we leave this side open i tried to match the zigzag to create the diamonds look and this is how it looks well, here I finished both of my uh, pieces. I finished the two fronts and it looked like this. Then we are going to make double series. I mean that we are going to make a stripe of a series with the plain color. We are just going to repeat four rows and we are going to follow this path. Okay, we are just going to create this stripe in the front of our vest okay we are not going to make this in all the head vest because it will be a lot and also we will need more material and this i think that with this little detail our vest will look beautiful also you have to look that the color of this uh, stripe will be different from the plain color that we used at the beginning okay you hear i use a light color than the one that I use. In this case, I use I finish with the red, so I'm going to finish with a reddish. I'm going to make the um, stripe of a reddish color with a reddish color. Okay, more light or like the one that I use. Well, if you don't want to buy another skein of yarn, we are going to choose the color from nouns of skein of yarn. Well. Also remember that in some parts I have to cut the threads and it will look like this but don't worry at the end we are going to hide them because we are going to make a single crochet row. If not you can slip until the next uh, square to continue with this series but I didn't want to add more width to this split. But don't worry I remember that at the end we will make a single crochet row. Well now we are going to continue we are going to make this stripe so you have to see if you end here well we are going to start the next series of the diamonds here so here's where we are going to put our thread with the color that you choose what the color that you want remember that in this case I will use a light color from the one that I used in the beginning okay so we are going to continue the instructions will be the same so we are going to continue making the zigzag to create the diamonds okay and remember to always take the thread from the back so we are going to make two chains and then we are going to take the thread from the back and we are going to continue we have to continue over uh, these chains like this and then we are going to insert our hook here in the corner of the mesh I'm sorry oh no I lost my stitch okay so like this and then we are going to continue with the next mesh we have to see where we are going to continue in this case we are going to go up we are going to make two chains and then we are going to jump this um, 
stripe off chains and like this is how we are is how it's going to look and again two chains then two chains more after skipping these chains and then in this corner is where we are going to insert our hook well we are going to repeat this remember that we are going to continue with this series until we full and when do we fill four rows and four mesh? I will show you how we are going to continue, okay? And in the other rows, we are going to insert our hook here to join the corners, but I will show you how. Well, look here at the end of this row, I'm going to jump from here to here, but I'm going to cut the thread. And I'm going to start right here. Here is where I'm going to put the thread and here is where I'm going to continue making the zigzag. So we are going to put the thread in the uh, right side. And then we are going to turn around the project to continue. You just have to follow, it's very easy, you just have to follow the zigzag and to see where we are, where we have to continue, where we are to continue. So here is where I will take the stitch and we are going to continue with the zigzag. Now here we are going to make two chains and then we are going to jump the line like this and remember that we are always going to take the thread from the back so insert our hook here so from here we are going to go to the other uh, corner after two chains we are going to skip the line and then two chains more and then insert your hook in the next corner so we are going to repeat this for four rows more remember that this will be only in the front part but look here I made a mistake I think that I take the wrong way the wrong path look from here to here I should go here not to the other way well please be careful and make sure that you are going to the right path like I was talking I get distracted but I know it's it's a little bit hard and a little bit difficult, but it's worth it. You know that at the end, this will look amazing. So remember just to repeat this in the front part of our vest. Remember that we have to create diamonds, so we have to make sure that we are taking the right uh, path, okay? We are following the right instructions. So we are going to continue like this and we know that we are taking the right path when we join here in where is all the uh, zigzags here where all the zigzags join we know that we are taking the right path well we are going to continue for two rows more for now I'm making the second one so we are going to continue with the plain color and so far it has to look like this well look here I finished the four rows of a zigzag here I created diamonds and here I will cut my thread where I finish then I'm going to continue I already get ahead with one row of single crochet and I'm going to continue all around this garment Sorry, I don't know where I can leave my scissors, but well, we are going to continue now with a single crochet row with one thread and we are going to make two single crochet, one, two and one. And like this all around this garment, okay? And remember also while we are making this single crochet row to hide all the loose threads that we have, okay? Well, I'm going to continue with this color making the single crochet. You can use the color that you want. I will use the nouns in skein of yarn that I have, but it's up to you. 
okay i'm going to use this reddish uh, color for this part and then i think that for the other side to match the colors with the last row i, I think i'm going to use the brown or other um, color but it's up to you okay as i told you so look here we'll make two and then here one like this and then two and then one and like this is how we are going to continue all around our pest and also we are going to make this in the sleeves okay in the armholes so let's continue like this and see you when I finish to make these rows I forget to tell you that when you are in the color we are going to reduce a little bit but also it's up to you in this case I reduce a little bit so I skip some stitches well we are going to go up with three chains then the next stitch and extend a double crochet of three crochets and we are going to make shells like this so we are going to make tricks and double crochet in one stitch then we are going to skip two and in the third one we are going to insert our hook and then again we are going to make one shell like this then to skip two and in the third one insert your hook and this is how the shells will look and look here in the sleeve I made a crab stitch but I don't like it so I think that I'm going to repeat this series of shells like this one than the one that I'm making but also it's up to you this is the stitch that I choose there are a lot of different stitches that you can make for the last rows of this beautiful vest I will I choose this one but because I think that this stitch is simple and also because the stitch that we already made for the rest of the vest is beautiful that's why I choose a simple stitch but well when we finish we are going to iron with a not much uh, steam okay and from the uh, wrong side just a little bit not too much and remember from the wrong uh, side if you feel that you need to skip more spaces in between each shell well you can leave three and then two instead and like this you are going to see what it's going to be your needs okay you will figure it out well now let's see how it looks we finished with this row i hope that you like it well so what do you think i hope that you like it i know that it takes a little bit of time but it's worth it at the end uh, the result it's beautiful i think that you will look amazing imagine this best in black and in grayish colors i think it will look so elegant and you will look amazing too okay at the end i add some accessories but well if you like this video please give me a like follow me and on my social media please don't forget to subscribe and to visit my spanish channel too where i share more products like this one don't forget to leave all your comments and see you the next wednesday thank you so much for watching this video and please don't miss the first part thank you so much i love you and I hope that you like it. Well, thank you. Bye.